Well, I'm going to talk about Nissan bassoon crooks and how I make the crooks. Well, I've been a professional bassoon player for over 50 years and played several uh, different bassoons and crooks. And I've always thought that the inconsistency of crooks vary from pretty poor to quite good. But the inconsistency is almost a matter of luck rather than anything else, rather than design. You can pick up a heckle crook, for instance, and one can be good, and one can be bad. And it applies to almost every other crook. Why are these inconsistencies? I, just, I thought to myself, surely there must be something in the procedure of the, the manufacture of the crook that's causing them. So I decided with modern techniques that are now coming into the late, in these last few years, modern techniques means that now tubes can be produced unseamed, in other words, drawn in one, one process. The question here is how do my crooks differ from the traditional made crook? The traditional crook is made from a piece of sheet brass cut into a triangle shape, a very long triangle shape, then bent over and the seam is then brazed. The brazing material of course is softer than the brass itself, it has to be, that's the way it is. And that process, although quite difficult, uh, does not produce a really satisfactory end result because the brazing material is being softer than the original brass, is liable to be weaker and over a period of time may crack up. This, of course, is what crooks have been made for literally hundreds of years. My method is entirely different. I use drawn brass tubing without a seam and I work on the drawn brass tubing to make it into the conical shaped uh, tube. The uh, drawn brass is then processed into a, into a conical shape by reducing the small end down and keeping the wide end open and in the process the small end, the thickness of the walls of the, of the crook are thicker than the, the other end, which is of course thinner. Therefore, that method is both cheaper to produce, easier to produce, more reliable and stronger. That is why the, the end, end cost of the item, the, the, tube, the crook itself, can be much cheaper than the other method. So therefore you can produce a crook, a superior crook, for half the price of traditional crooks. The, uh, the crook is then bent into shape by annealing it, that is heating it to a certain temperature. And then it is bent on a, on a jig. And then from there on uh, it's processed and, and uh, plated into the finished article. I find that my crooks are more even, better tuned and better intonation, better in, in tone quality than any other crooks I come across.